All right, so before I put the subframe in and uh, some of the engine based stuff for good, I actually wanted to go and get brand new hardware so that when you open that motor bay, everything looks nice and shiny and new. You wanna see what $100 worth of bolts looks like? <laughs> so not quite, it was a little bit less, but I got you know washers, lock washers, nuts, bolts, all the different sizes I need. Um, well, I still got a couple more to get. And you know, I probably could have got these cheaper on the internet, but I wanted to go down there in person to the ANA Trade-In Post in Inglewood, Colorado. Uh, this store has been here since 1955, and I guarantee you the boys over at Unique Mobility went to that store probably on a daily basis to buy things to put these cars together. So I just had to keep the spirit alive and I went down there to my local hardware store to get these things. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll start putting it back together. Uh, we're gonna get the front suspension put on and uh, you know subframes up in the front. Let's go. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to install the front subframes and the front suspension. So, check out some of the bolts that I removed from it, including these washers they cut down. You'll see why later, but look, I've got all brand new hardware to replace all that. I, mean, I even cut down my own washers. So, that's going to be much nicer to install. Well, here's the transmission. You can remember back uh, when I first got the car, it was this metallic blue, but the paint job was totally trash, it was chipping off and flaking. Well, I got it completely repainted. I even used aircraft stripper and stripped all the paint off this thing and, uh, and completely redid it. I also clean, uh, cleaned up all the accessories. These are where the shift linkages go. Got those all cleaned and painted and uh, this thing's ready to go back in. Also, the aluminum ring for the motor adapter to the transmission, I got this sandblasted and I got the motor mounts sandblasted because they just had, uh, you know, a lot of dirt just embedded in the aluminum. They were corroded, they were ugly. So I cleaned them up by getting them bead, well not sandblasted, bead, ba bead blasted with uh, uh, micro glass beads. So they look great. And I put a little bit of metal polish on there and they shined up a little bit. I think I'm gonna shine them up a, a little bit more um, and just have that raw aluminum look because I think it's gonna look great. Then this is the motor fan um, shroud, I guess, duct. And this forces cool air into the motor. And I got these sandblasted. I just got uh, done washing them and I'm gonna paint those today. But got these sandblasted, had some old paint on it. Didn't look very good, so. We're gonna paint those gloss black and it's gonna look sweet. So we're gonna keep going and uh, cleaning and painting. See why they cut out the washers now? Oh yeah. Oh, really happy I decided to go with brand new hardware. That looks mint. Okay, so we'll put the bottom bottom part of the subframe on now uh, before we tighten any of the top ones up. All right, hold on. Yep, way too dirty. Can't believe I let this slip by me.
how good that, all those new bolts look. Awesome. So now we can move on, uh, do the suspension. Okay, so for the front suspension, I've got to make two new ones of these of all this stuff. So first I'm going to disassemble these and get the bottom, the cradle or mount or whatever that is out. And then we'll turn all this into that. Nice, these are looking great. Yep, I'm definitely gonna need a spring compressor. What I need to do is compress this spring so this cap will go all the way down over this threaded part so I can put the nut on. Um, and that'll preload all the suspension and everything. So, what I'm gonna have to do is either buy or rent a spring compressor. Both struts are done now, so we can put them on the car. Cool. Gotta make sure you get plenty, plenty of lube on your bushings, your polyurethane bushings, otherwise they'll squeak. And you don't want a squeaky ride because then everybody's going to look at you and it won't be because you look cool.
cool thing about polyurethane bushings is normally can just push them in by hand. You don't need a big press to do it yourself. Look at that, solid, <laughs> solid rotor. It's not vented, but nice and shiny. This is all bent. Yep, so I need to be fixed when the calipers go on.
they come with these little screws that you use to hold the rotor on the face. Now normally I put the caliper on too, but I need to move this across, so we're just gonna put the wheels on. Uh, and then I'll do the caliper when I get the rest of the parts. Bye, buddy.